Hello YouTubers, Realtor Mike Thomas coming at you here with the housing market report for St. Lucie County, Port St. Lucie, Florida. And we have a graph here, a bar graph, showing you what sales happened, what kind of homes were sold each month, and um, if they were up or down according to last year. So let me explain the graph a little bit. The blue bars are single family homes and the orange bars are townhouse and condominiums. So let's get started here. We're looking at January. Uh, January was up almost 22% in single family homes in Port St. Lucie and St. Lucie County area, including Vero Beach and the surrounding areas and 40 over 41 percent in townhouses and condominiums over january 2020 over last year um, it stayed about the same in february except condominium sales dropped down to uh 17 about 17 and a half percent or so uh over last year but single family homes stayed right around 21 and a half percent in february over um February the previous year. In March, single family homes dropped even further down to 7.7% 7, 7 uh, over last year, but the townhouse and condo market was up nearly 62%. In April, the single family homes were up 47%, and townhouses and condominiums were up 156% in April over last year. Wow, that was humongous. But um, if you think that was high, May was even better. At almost 66% for single family homes and over 200% over last year. June, single family homes slid back to 25.5% or so. And townhouses and condos still stayed up at a right around 118% over last year, June. Now here's the uh, where it gets good. Single family homes dropped down to 5% over last year. So we're still up over last year, July. But condos and townhouses dropped minus 5% over last year. So that was quite something to watch it comes down over a hundred and ten percent in one single month kind of throws up a red flag something to look for in august single-family homes dropped eleven and a half percent over last year so now it's in the red it's in negative and townhouses and condominiums nearly 17 percent down over last year what does that tell us? Wow, July and August weren't very good months. Is that something to be worried about? And the answer is, it's something to keep an eye on. Having a one month or two months that are not good is okay. But once we have three consecutive months in a row, it raises an eyebrow about whether the market is stabilizing or even coming down somewhat in St. Lucie. So... Do I believe that there is a market crash or correction coming to St. Lucie County? Um, there is a possibility, but we won't know that for sure because we need a couple months worth of data to actually make a good decision about that. For right now, I'm going to say Port St. Lucie had a couple of bad months. Let's see what uh, September will bring and uh, we'll know then for sure.